Nestled between Briker Woods on the south and Rosedale on the north tip, this Oakmont Heights new construction home by Laura Builders is a hidden gem only minutes away from Mopac Expressway. It's peaceful here. There are so many surprises in this house, day or night, that we'll reveal you're not gonna wanna miss a second. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Goodman with EXP Realty, and the moment you pull up to this home, its stature so powerfully framed by the stucco, the black windows, the metal glass door, has you wonder what you're about to experience. Even the walkway isn't your typical standard oversized pavers. Entering, you're immediately pulled in by the 12 foot ceilings with wood beams that bring you a feeling of warmth within the volume of total space as your feet tread on these wide white oak plank floors with natural tones and grains. The finishes in this house are impeccable. I cannot wait to reveal the details for you of this Oakmont house. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the specs of this house. We've got five bedrooms, five baths, 3,543 square feet on 0.162 of an acres, and it's listed for just over $2 million. You know, luxury means different things to different people. And if you're a homebody like me, you'll appreciate the sunlight, the materials, the natural color palette of this home. I mean, your eyes are drawn to the windows of the great room. And we'll head out there and check out the standalone garage and the bedrooms a little bit later on our tour. Now, let's check out our kitchen. <music> Our kitchen island has seating for all your friends and family. The spectacular waterfall feature is on both sides. And as you'll see here, we have these spectacular cabinets. Now it looks like an inlay and we're so used to having panels that are raised that this really stands out as a pretty special feature. I love that they've done the bronze finishes with the square, makes it easy to pull. And our appliance package includes Thermador. We've got your oven, we've got your microwave, we've got your dishwasher, and this six top burner with a beautiful griddle on top. Now, another feature that they put in this house is the fact that we have this black hood. Now, I've never seen a black hood in any house that we've shot this year, or in fact, anything that I've been in. And I have to say, it's a really bold move. You're gonna see a lot of black in this house as we go throughout and it's very grounding and it's warm against the grains of the wood. Behind me, we've got our walk-in closet, goes all the way to the top. You've got 12 feet of storage and now we've got our beautiful dining room right here with a built-in wet bar. They put in a granite countertop, a black sink, and I love these flat black cabinets right here. And again, you've got our same poles that we had in the kitchen, and you're going to see that equally throughout the house. Now, this dining area is right at the front, and as you can see, this sky coming inside is exceptional. From our dining room, we're gonna go ahead and check out the office. And I love the fact that they've put in this pocket door, which will allow you to shut yourself in here. The fact that this entire wing is shut off allows you to work from home in silence, in the beautiful light, again, at the front of the house. And directly on this side, we're gonna check out the first bathroom. This first bathroom features a black and white granite countertop with an oversized backsplash. And Omar, we haven't seen this before, but when you tap this, this will actually get rid of the steam after you've showered and clear your mirror. Heading from the West Wing, we are gonna go and check out our owner's suite. We will bring you back to the great room before we head outside, and I'm gonna point out a few features for you. But in the meantime, let's go. On our way to our owner's suite, we stop at our laundry room. It's got a great setup here with a sink and faucet, plenty of room for storage.
walking into our owner suite, you are immediately grabbed by the fact that you've got this recessed lighting and the volume of space in this room is tremendous. Behind me is a king size bed with plenty of room for side tables. And right over here is our owner's ensuite. You're immediately grabbed by the fact that you have this oversized sink space. Our brass finishes again. I love how they've drawn the brass into the light fixtures and they've picked it up here on the floor, Omar, with these beautiful oversized tiles that go throughout. Now these cabinets are something special. You can see they are exactly the same as what we saw in our kitchen. However, what they've done is they've created an under mount lighting fixture, which means at night when you enter, you do not need all your lights on. On this side of our bathroom, we've got our tub and shower combination. I love this glass wall that they've created. And you'll see here along the floor that there's just a slight step up and our baseboards in the entire bathroom are made of the same material. So in the event that water does get out, you have nothing to worry about because this place is waterproof. I don't usually show the WC, but in this case I am because these folks have taken the time to put in the same cabinets that we've seen throughout the house. And you've got this really cool lighting that allows you to see again, just at night, Walking into our owner's closet, you are in for a treat. You have built in everything from the fact that you've got these gorgeous brass handles on these flat panel doors to the shelving that goes all the way up to the ceiling, meaning you've got 12 feet of closet space to share. Leaving our owner's suite, we are gonna head upstairs to check out bedrooms three and four, and there's a game room that's gonna knock your socks off. As we hit our landing, you will notice we picked up the beams from downstairs, and brought them upstairs. Again, a fine detail by a luxury builder. Heading down the hallway, we're gonna go ahead and let's check out bedroom number three. The first thing you notice about this bedroom is you've got your same metal clad black windows, lots of natural light, and let's check out the ensuite. This bathroom features a beautiful frameless glass shower with a beautiful tile continuing in our black and white theme, and you've got this beautiful finished black matte fixture with white sink. Coming out of bedroom three, we have bedroom number four. It is an oversized bedroom. I love what they've done with the big metal frame windows here and again, facing the front of the house. And directly behind me, we've got a closet. Again, they've put built-ins in here. Now, here's a little surprise for you. The ensuite for this particular bedroom is right here and it features a beautiful frameless glass shower just like we saw. I love that they've got the seating element right here and check this out. It's also the bathroom for those who are playing in the game room. Now let's check out the game room. One of my favorite features about this house is this upstairs area. The builder has taken advantage of the roof line and created a play space bar none. Now I see this as a yoga room. It could become a theater if you put a door up here and you've got room for anything you want and all of the mess can stay upstairs while you do the rest of the family living downstairs. Now, before we head downstairs, I have a little secret for you. See that right there? That's our fifth bedroom and we're about to take you out there in just a moment. The centerpiece of our great room is this gorgeous gas fireplace. It's black, it just weighs down the room and grounds you. You've got this beautiful mantle and the recessed panel right here with the beautiful wood grains really pick up the tone of the rest of the house. Now, let's go outside and check out the fact that we have a yard and our fifth bedroom. We have our gorgeous 
patio. Again, we've got our grays, our blacks, our whites, and they've brought in the tone of the woods in our ceiling. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love that detail. You've got your built-in coyote gas grill. You've got room for storage. And now let's go ahead and check out our fifth bedroom. Our fifth bedroom completely outside in its own building. We are currently above the garage in our own private little unit. Now, we had the office inside as it was staged. However, if you wanted to work from home, I love the fact that you could come out here, shut the door, and completely be away from the rest of the house. You've got a separate train air conditioner, and right in here you have a full walk-in bathroom, meaning you never have to leave the office. Before we leave this separate unit, Omar, I just wanna point out the fact that Lore Builders has taken the time to really add detail. The soffit in this space is actually the same as the roof that we see in the patio area, and they've done an incredible job with oversized gutters to make sure that all of the rain pulls away from the building. Our two-car garage is laneway access, just like the rest of the neighbors, because that's how we roll in Oakmont Heights. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of 1904 West 37th Street. By the way, what is your favorite part of this house? Is it that incredible separate fifth bedroom above the two car garage? Is it that smoking kitchen with all those Thermidor appliances? Or just maybe it's that game room upstairs. Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. By the way, my name is Jennifer Goodman and I'm a local realtor here in Austin. If you would like to see this house or any other, please do me a favor, give me a call, shoot me a text. And if it's the first time to this channel, hit the like button, smash that subscribe and be the first to know about new videos coming out for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.